Get my dinner. I said, look, I got the nut ready. Here we go. It's feeling pretty right, huh? Nice fish. Oh my goodness. Oh, God. <laughs> What is going on guys? Today we are back with another video. We're in the truck right now and we're actually one day into the trip, aren't we? In the same video. And uh, we're one day into the trip right now and uh, what are we doing? Well, it's kind of your classic um, walleye fishing road trip here we got going on. Um, left Wisconsin yesterday morning, quick pit stop in Minnesota. Now we're just jumping, we're just going from Wisconsin to Minnesota to North Dakota. Right now is what's happening right now. But um, wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of video content uh, right off the bat here before we get to our next destination. So, uh, fished one of my absolute favorite places yesterday. Um, Leech Lake, fished out of Horseshoe Bay Lodge. It was flat glass call Mitchell. Yeah, what happened yesterday? It was slower than normal <laughs> they fishing. Just, they just weren't biting. Yeah, yeah found a, a pile of fish slower than normal fishing. We didn't like get all crazy with it, like trying a bunch of a bunch of like creek chub type stuff. I mean, I wish I would have had a bunch of yeah. you know to just run on really light jigs or, or do some rigging. But anyways, we had a really short day there, and I uh, wanted to kind of give you guys maybe you guys can kind of watch the breakdown of fishing a bunch of different baits, fishing a bunch of different spots. Kind of the you know maybe not the most glamorous walleye fishing video, but one of us did catch a pretty nice fish yesterday afternoon. Yeah, we actually, we caught a decent amount of fish. Yeah, we caught a decent like, amount of fish. just feet, turn left making a video. US to west. Yeah. Caught, caught a decent amount of fish. It was just much slower than normal leech like expectations. Yeah. So um, let's say a little bit of that footage from yesterday. Hopefully you guys kind of enjoy it. We're going to continue on our drive. And maybe after you guys watch a little bit of content from yesterday, we'll catch it back up with you and tell you our plans where we're going. Them on the tip. Oh yeah, that's a fish. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> first cast, dude. That was unbelievable. That was gonna... like the first or second cast or something. Just knowing where we are, I'm just gonna clear this because we'll uh, probably need a net. It's feeling right too. You can see him on the live, and this is why Mitchell. Oh yes. That's <laughs> why we drive here. <laughs> this oh, is man. why this is just the greatest place on. Oh my goodness, dude! Look at that thing go. It's the first time this year that we've had these conditions too. Huh? Unbelievable, right? Yeah. And dude, I, you know, if you guys just can't tell from watching the channel, when I am here, like, like this is, this is just it for me. You know, it's as good as it gets. And I'll show you why. I mean, this I don't even know how long, how many casts it took. If it was two or three or one, first cast. I think I like short pitched at a couple, just you know, right at the boat or something. But I mean, dude, how are you gonna beat that? I'm just gonna pop that knot off quick here. So I can actually get them out of the net. It's really quiet out here today too, isn't it weird? Like you really still out. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. It's just incredible, right? How are you gonna beat that? I mean, that just literally took no time. Is this gonna be the spot, the presentation we land on today and do it all day? I don't know, because we haven't been fishing long enough to know yet. But, you know, a lot of times you kind of go through the progression of A, finding fish, B, trying to catch the fish, and then generally you arrive at some kind of conclusion where it's okay this is the best spot and this is the presentation and that's where you kind of spend the remainder of your time doing the thing you know but we're too early yet mitch on the process sometimes we start these videos and we're already to that stage in the process other times like this video we just got out here we literally <laughs> just got out here <laughs> so who knows right? yeah i mean this could be the only fish on the drop shot today well, who knows could be definitely could be, could be. Yeah, I think it's a little fish though. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> nice fish there, nice Tommy. Fish. Nice fish there. All right, well, since we saw you guys last time, you guys saw us catch that. I'll just stop us. What do you think? You want to stop or you want to go, Mitchell? Stop or go, what do you mean? You want to stop the boat or you swing? Oh, I don't know, just my luck catching these kind Keep of... floating. Why are we having problems that back camera, Ray? It's, uh, you got any answers for me on that one? It's still on, isn't it? Is it? It no, off. it's just doing the classic, you know, just a classic little GoPro maneuver here. 
I can't believe I thought this was a small fish kind of bite. Oh, well, we're going really slow and they probably are not picking it up super heavy, you know? So yeah. they just kind of halfway load the rod. It just looked like a perchy bite at first though, is what I mean by the small fish bite. It was just like mm -hmm. tap, tap. Well, good fish though. Look at this. Oh man. I'm trying to tell you guys. Oh, Can man. you see him already? This feels like good fish. Did you stop the boat? No. Are you turning us in a really weird yeah, angle right yeah, now. Yeah. But what I was trying to tell you guys is that since we saw you guys last time, we caught that first fish on like the second cast on a drop shot. I looked around and either said one of two things to Mitchell. I said they're either really close to the bottom and live's not going to pick them up. And we're just going to have to fish for them. Or there's just not a lot of fish here. But I think there probably is a decent amount of fish here. So yeah. I said, let's just cruise around with some slow deaths and spinners. Nice fish. Is it? You want me to net them? Let me just yeah, wrap nice this fish. knot up here. And I haven't even... Mitch has now caught one, assuming that he catches this one, and lost one. And I have yeah. still not tied up my second spinner right Lost here. a good one. Ooh, he's getting it's a nice froggy. Fish, though. Yeah, it is. Dude, that's a real nice fish. Real nice one. And on these kind of days. Oh, I'm audible. Yeah, just lift on him. Yeah. It'll be good. Looks like he stops digging. There we go. There we nice go. Fish. Give me some of that, my man. I mean, on these days where you get like this and, you know, where you're fishing. Real clear water, real flat calm. Obviously fish are generally speaking gonna be a little bit more timid, which generally means a couple things. A, they're gonna be really closer to bottom. And B, Ooh, you're probably some. fishing some more finesse type of rigs. Solid fish. That's what I like a little to see. Gash on. Look at that. That's what I like to see. I don't know what that's from. You see this thing? Look at that. Kind of interesting gash, huh? Yeah, it is. Zebra muscle or something. Yeah, who knows? It. Alrighty, let's get back to the water. Fish down, boys. Right there. Well, I can tell you guys this. We are in the middle of a hot, flat, sunny day, aren't we, Mitchell? Yeah, we are. When's actually starting to just kind of pick it's up? actually starting to. We've kind of been doing a whole bunch of running around. Just kind of priming the pump, so to speak. Would you agree to that? Yeah, pretty much. We're kind of... I mean, we kind of know what's going to happen on days like this for the most part. Evening bugs. Where we're just not going to go full-on insane mode. Like, really trying to bear down until it's the ideal time. And up here on the Leech Lake, that ideal time is morning, evening, isn't it, Mitchell? When you get days like this, it's a little 15 incher. One of many nice keeper size wallets you can catch up here at Leech, but... That one came on the drop shot so far. Just uh, fish or two on the drop shot, fish or two on the spinner rig. Mitchell's pitcher on hyper at all, or did you go to a... Uh, I'm on a drop shot now. Fish, but... fish and drop shot. Fish? Yeah. Looks like a good one, huh? Yeah, it looks a little better. There we go, there we go. There we go, getting it going. Nice hyper rattlefish to get the evening going, hopefully. It's looking real nice, isn't it? Jeez. Jeez. Look at that sucker tussle. Well, we're making, it's definitely just kind of one of those days where we're making the run through a few different spots with a few different baits. Yeah, each one is kind of catching the shirt fish. Yeah, hyper rattle spinners and drop shots so far today but you know a lot of times this is what you're looking at in the middle of summer a lot of i always call it junk fishing where you're just kind of a little bit of this a little bit of that a little bit over here a little bit over there making it happen what color you got on white oh you got the, like the lemon head on huh lemon head hyper rattle and if you guys didn't watch we filmed a video on leech probably about a month ago now huh a few weeks ago, yep. on doing this pattern where you just kind of get on some of these deeper rock areas and you're kind of just looking for fish either on down imaging, side imaging, or sonar and you're just kind of pitching at them. You know, a real short range or you're just kind of getting in an area where there's a few fish and just kind of doing a little fan casting. They absolutely love these baits up here. The bigger thing today is just getting the bites on any presentation because it's just kind of that kind of day. But we hope, like we said, as time goes on, it gets a little better here this evening. 
Fish that one? right nice. there. Fish on, oh, boys. Feeling <clears throat> right, feeling right. Looks decent size, huh? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Well, you know, sometimes the days where they just don't want to bite, you just got to hyper rattle them. That's exactly what we're doing. The old reaction bite. And keys to this presentation, obviously working the bait very aggressively and a very fast guy on the net. And that's a nice walleye right there. Ready for the scoop? Oh gosh, he's way late on the scoop. We still got him. Got him. Still got, got him. him. Still go. the best right. at it. What's that? I said I'm still the best at it. Guy claims to be the best netter in the world, huh? This is an awesome title to have, isn't it? Is. it? Doesn't it sound cool? There we go. What a beautiful Ooh. summertime walleye right there. Well, the reaction baits might be the thing the rest of the evening, huh? Kind of seems like you put that in front of them and they respond a little bit better. Here's one. You got one? Yeah. As I'm eating my dinner, I set the hook. I got the nut ready. Here we go. It's feeling pretty right, huh? Yeah, it looks right. It's a rather righteous hook set right there. <laughs> it's doing big fish things, isn't it? Well, in a day of just switching, flip flopping, and swap dopping, whatever that means. Mm -hmm. Went back to the drop shot, took two casts, missed a smaller fish on the first cast. Now I got, for sure, a stud Leech Lake walleye on there. This is gonna be a big fish, Mitchell. These head shakes are wide, <clears throat> real wide. That's why we come here. Yeah, it definitely, I mean, this is like- Like always good for a few of these. It feels like the whole day's riding on this right here, doesn't it? Look at that go. Got a big boat pushing a big old weight. Oh my gosh, where'd that boat even go? I didn't see one. Look at this, Mitchell. Is this really a walleye? It no. feels just like one. It's gonna be a big walleye. The whole day has come down to this. This, this is the fish. This is it, right here. Jig a little bit backed off. Rod maxed out. I was just sitting down eating a this sandwich. Is, and get ready. Me. What a spot to eat dinner, right? Sit this on the is lake. a nice spot to eat dinner. Oh my goodness. Nice fish. Oh my goodness. Oh my <laughs> Just a stud. Oh my goodness, Mitchell. Yeah. <laughs> That's it's a big pretty end. much what I thought that was going to be. It's a big end. Might as well just uh, end the video with that thing. No, no, no. You can't, you can't just stop fishing, Mitchell. You can't just stop. Wow, look at that fish right there. As the sun's going down, Leech Lake stud walleye right there. Look at that, you guys. That is what we're after. Big, thick, heavy midsummer walleye up here on Leech Lake. Wow. And on a tougher day, it's bites like that. Wow, was he angry? That made the whole thing worth it. All right. Well, hopefully, you guys enjoyed that little bit of content from Leech Lake. Um, it was a fun video to make. Always one of my favorite places to fish. And if we get to stay at Horseshoe Bay for a night, could not resist one day on Leech Lake. But while you guys were watching that, we drove four and a half hours, and uh, we are now out here, North Dakota, on? On Devil's Lake, look, right there. It's actually right there. See it? Look at that. Devil's Lake is right there. Another phenomenal walleye fishing fishery. And uh, what time is it right now? 10.30, uh, we got a little bit of stuff to do. Got to launch the boat and uh, get out there and start picking it apart. And I think today we're just gonna kind of Maybe kind of dip the toes in the water, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just look around and see what we can do. Dip find. the toes in the water, try a couple different things maybe, try a few different locations, and kind of maybe set ourselves up for um, kind of like uh, the, the boom, boom, boom kind of video tomorrow, the flashy video tomorrow, right? Sure. A little bit of behind the scenes look here. So um, stay tuned. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the content from Leech. Now we're gonna go out here and uh, hopefully put something together. So stay tuned, let's get it going on. Catch some of these North Dakota walleyes. All right, we have arrived. We are fishing on the water. Look at this, Mitchell. For better or worse, this week we're gonna be plagued with this kind of weather. It's gonna be beautiful for fishing, beautiful for running around. 
the bite, it'll be better than the leech was. We'll see, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, I have high hopes. But you know, the coolest part about Devil's Lake, in my opinion, having fished here, you know, several times this year, a bunch of times last year, is the diversity. And it's, there's a lot of different stuff going on. There's generally always some kind of shallow bite that is a lot of times you can do things like casting jigs and plastics, casting blade baits, maybe a shallow water trolling pattern. And then by midsummer, a lot of times there's a deeper pattern. It might be the old, the old lake bed in 18, 20, 22 feet, whatever that is. It might be a deep timber bite. It might be fishing pointing extensions of deeper water. A lot of different variables and the weeds are up. And one thing different between this year and last year, the water is a lot higher than it was last year, which gives us a deeper weed edge, which if you're a shallow water fisherman, it's normally a good thing because that gives you another structural element in that eight, 10 foot of water, which is a good thing. If you like fishing that pattern, always multiple things going on. Our job between today and tomorrow is gonna be to break it down, film some awesome YouTube videos, get some awesome content on techniques and locations up on the Walleye Now app and all that good stuff that we do anytime we travel anywhere. So this is gonna be that part of the day where for a little while we're just gonna be driving around, looking at the hummingbirds and uh, getting a good idea of what's going on out here. And then that's the intersection of presentation and location. And then hopefully we'll be filming some awesome content. So stay tuned, let's get it going on to make it happen out here in Devil's Lake. There, Mitchell. Feel right? Definitely feeling right. Feeling like a pretty decent one. I don't know how much talking to you we've, we've done here, but made the move up to some shallower water. Trolled a couple of lead core spots. Caught some littler fish. That pattern probably works. You might just have to run to the other side of the lake. We came, oh yes, Mitchell. This right fish for sure. There we go. Look at that guy, huh? I mean, that's what we're after. It's a good one. There we go. A little better than those first oh, three, huh? Fish on, boys. That is what we're after right there. And for some reason, I generally seem to find bigger fish shallow, but when I fish out here, but uh, it, it's a classic scenario where it's like, um, you know, you're catching all the fish on green and, you know, the guy tells you, oh yeah, green's the hot color. And all the crankbaits he has on are green because he didn't try any other colors. You know what I'm saying, Mitchell? Yeah. Definitely. Or it's like the fisherman's biased. Normally, if I can fish shallow, I like to fish shallow. There's a nice one right there. Probably 22, 21, somewhere right in there. Nice and green. They're thick, aren't they, out here? Built right out here in North Dakota. Let that guy go. That one actually came just... We actually made a run down this spot with spinners and for whatever reason. I don't know if it's probably... I'm leaning towards it was just dumb luck we didn't get bit. What do you think? Yeah, I'm thinking so. What were you using? Drop, Drop shot. shot. Yeah, I'm cracking a jig along, so we're kind of doing a couple, a couple different two things. pronged approach, trying to figure out anything is going to work right now up shallow. Yeah, and this is kind of a lot of times what the process is, but definitely fish in nine to twelve feet of water. Yeah, what? Fish on, boys, right there. Damn it, man. I just said to Tom that nice walleye. I'm gonna sit here and soak up the sun and take a nap until he catches the fish, and that lasts about three seconds. Yeah, well, I, I was getting sick of watching you just, you know, sitting there. I yeah. I better catch a dang fish. There we go, another shallow fish, slowly putting it together. We kind of caught that last fish on that spot, There's ran through here. it a little bit, moved away. Kind of got into this spot, saw some fish. Whoa, he's all flippity flop. Get it back in the water, buddy. A little 14 entry. Hooked up, boys, right there. Fish on, fish on, Mitchell. As we're pulling up. Yeah, well, I don't know the last time we talked to you guys, but we've been running around, covering some water, catching a few fish on lead core, a few decent fish on lead core, some nice eaters. And uh, the nice part about lead core, like we kind of said in the intro, is first things first, it lets you find a lot of fish because you can cover so much water. And even if you just go like down a mile and a half of shoreline and catch four or five fish, 
a lot of times we can, you obviously look at the graph as you're doing that. So, you know, as we've been doing this, we've been kind of seeing where there's fish, seeing where there's not fish, and we can essentially go back, connect the dots, and either cast on those spots or kind of shorten up our, our, our trolling pass. A lot of those little things, but I mean, or you can troll just like bottom bouncers through that area. So just by pulling lead core, a lot of times it might not be the best way to fish, to actually catch a lot of fish, depending on the situation you're in, but a lot of times it might be a great way to find fish. And that's kind that of what I'm hoping right now. free spooling right now, I just noticed Is it? That. Oh yeah, you might want to grab that then, huh? Oh, or just close the bale. It's a nice walleye, Mitchell. It's a real nice walleye. On the lead core. And, you know, this is what we're catching out, out on here in some of this deeper water areas. Boom, right there, another fish on. Well, this is kind of the process. You guys might not think this YouTube video is like fun or exciting or anything like that. I'm having a blast because I love these kind of like learning, go out, see where it is. A lot of times this is more fun to me than just coming out and setting the hook like 57 times in a day. I don't know what you think, Mitchell. Yeah, it's always, <clears throat> it's more rewarding when you put it together. Yep, so here we go. Here's another nice walleye. Trolling some deep cranks, if I can even get them off, there we go. But I mean, lots of fish and devils that size. We're just hoping to kind of connect the dots, put it all together, and come up with an awesome video tomorrow. But hopefully you guys have kind of enjoyed this little video so far as well. Fish right there, right there. Yeah, wait, huh? Fish on. There we go. There we go. And you know, the more trolling you do with lead core, like we just talked about in that last fish, the more water you're in, the more fish you're finding, and the more fish you can ultimately put your bait in front of. And that's why it's such a great way to fish this time of year. Feels not too shabby. I got that one going out. It's gotta go back probably about a hundo. Feeling not too shabby. It's coming up high. It's slowly coming together, Mitchell. It's slowly coming together. Just needed a little bit of time. I'll just hand land oh, this you guy. Your line. I'll just hand land him real quick here. Give you guys a there. look. Another nice one. Nice eater size. And this is what everybody's coming out to Devil's Lake for. A ton of these perfect kind of 15 to 20 inch eaters right there. We'll let that guy go. Rinse and repeat, right? Rinse and repeat. Mitchell's got one on. I don't think he knew he had one on. No, I'm trying to maneuver the boat here. There we go. Well, that took not very long at all to rinse and repeat on that that one. No, it didn't. There we go. Well, kind of like we said in the intro before we really knew what was kind of going on out here. Decent fish. A lot of times there's two things that are going on on every body of water, a lot of different bodies of water, especially big complex ones like devils. You can catch fish in like 20, 20 feet, 21 feet right now. And you can catch fish, you know, up on weed edges. There's always a couple of different things going on and uh, a couple different good things going on. Obviously, oh, he's all angry, he's all angry. Come here, buddy, come here, come here. So hearty, so healthy, let him go. See you later, dude. All right, guys, we are hooked up on another one. Mitchell's launching a drone. We got all sorts of crazy stuff, look at this. Yeah, we do. We have all sorts of stuff. Doubled up. We're doubled up? <laughs> oh, boy. Doubled up. We got fish on. Another nice walleye here. Cold. He's not looking well, good. Well, this has certainly been a good pattern for catching a lot of these right here. You know, nice 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 inch walleyes like that right there. It's good Tons of them. And they're so healthy and perky and stocky out here. There he goes. Oh, sorry. Look at this. We are tripled up right now. Tripled. Mitchell, you got to grab that one. Yeah, I just saw that one. We literally have three walleyes on right now. It's getting crazy. We can't do too much, though, because this we have to make a video tomorrow, too, you know? Yeah. So maybe this will be the ending of this video? Yes. You still got yours? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Feeling nice? It's not bad. I'm gonna scheme. Same size of what we've been doing, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna scheme. I'm trying to scheme mine, but he's actually staying down there. Oh, <laughs> they're so chunky. Look at that. Crazy. And that's all you're asking for right there. Do you want me to reel, Mitchell, and you can fly your drone? Nope. There we go. Look at that. I mean, just so many quality fish out here. So many quality fish out here. We have just have 
one rod left and Mitchell's just babying him. <laughs> you know, gotta get that. Here, I'll take your cool stellar drone shots stuff. for you. I'm staying down there. I don't, I'm not sure this is a walleye, Tom. Oh, it's gonna be. Oh, it is. You see him? It is. Nice walleye, nice walleye. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Beauty. Is that gonna wrap it up now? Probably. Huh? Oh yeah. my gosh, as I'm driving this, I'm going into I'm going into the shoreline now. Our boat control's all out of whack. You didn't even show the folks your fish, Mitchell. I didn't. I didn't. Well, it looked like another 17-ish inch walleye, but yeah, either size. There we go. Well, we went from zero to hero today. Yeah, we did. And that's kind of a rough version of the process. How it goes a lot of times. You know, at this point, we have found two different bites, which is always good. The shallow bite, I'm really confident in that I will catch fish there. Even though we might not have filmed much there, it might not have looked like much, I'm super confident in my ability to catch some of those bigger fish to bite tomorrow. So I feel good about that. Now, the other presentation was obviously doing some deep water trolling. So we have two different patterns, two different, couple different presentations that are working. And that's kind of when you kind of start feeling successful, right? It's always like, where are the fish? What are they biting? when you hit that T is kind of when the day a lot of times comes together. But hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this. Kind of a rough cut all over the place video. And uh, we obviously caught, you guys aren't gonna be for a second. Obviously caught a whole bunch of fish out here. Yesterday was fun on leech, a little bit tougher day on leech, but still caught a bunch of fish there too. And one nice fish out there. So hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed this a little bit rougher cut, a little bit more on the go type of video. Um, if we just came out everywhere and just clocked a bunch of fish, probably wouldn't even have made a video like this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, but stay tuned for tomorrow because tomorrow we put it all together and have a great day in the water, hopefully out here in Devil's Lake. And then we get back in the truck and we go, some other direction, but I can't remember which direction it is. I'm not sure. I forgot too. I'm not sure. I haven't been there before. Uh, me. I know you haven't been there before. For sure, no. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. But stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed watching this. Till next time, we'll see you later.